Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Caroline and you should totally subscribe and join the man fam. Today is September 29th and today's video is going to be a day in the life fall edition transitioning from summer to fall. I wanted to film this because I am super excited for fall but I also feel like where I live it still feels like summer so I'm trying to transition my wardrobe into fall um some of the things that i do every morning just like make little changes and um yeah i'm excited because we're going to be doing some exciting things today my family and i and i cannot wait to bring you guys along also my hair looks really dark in this lighting which is good because whenever i went to seaside with my friends um, my hair got so light and i had just dyed it darker so I'm glad that it's looking pretty dark in this. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup really quick. I'm just gonna put on three products today and I will just show you guys because it's not gonna be that long. The first product I'm gonna use is the MAC Creaseless Concealer. Usually I don't wear concealer to school, but on the weekends, sometimes I like to do that. But really all I do is just do two little lines. And then I'm going to take my beauty blender. I got this beauty blender like a month ago and I'm obsessed. I used to hate beauty blenders because I thought they were so gross. Because like all the bacteria is still pretty gross. But it just works so much better. This is Leo, my dog. He's so cute. Also today it's looking really gloomy outside right now. So I really hope that the weather pulls through because I need it to. The plan for today is we are going to drive downtown and go to a coffee shop that I've been wanting to go to. Take some pictures for Instagram and then probably go grocery shopping. And I think I'm gonna be able to drive whenever we go grocery shopping. I think that's what my mom said, but they don't trust me to drive downtown yet, which is understandable, but ugh, kind of annoying. Fun tip, whatever concealer you have left over, like on your beauty blender or whatever, um, kind of like pat it on your eyelids. I really like how it blends the color out evenly, but just a little tip for y'all. Now that concealer is done, I'm going to go in with some mascara. And you guys all know that my favorite mascara is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. This is my go-to, but Benefit has some really good ones. I've tried their Roller Lash, their Real, and then this one. They're all amazing, but it's hard to choose one. All right, so I'm just gonna put some on. I really like how this is just really natural. Um, I have never worn fake eyelashes. Actually, when I did dance one time, I had to wear it for competition, but I absolutely hate fake eyelashes. Um, I understand that some people have to wear them, but preferably just find a mascara that makes your eyelashes look really natural. I'm trying to invest in the Glossier one. Um, I wanna go online and order a few products, but I just spent way too much money the other day. Gotta wait till next month. But like, I don't know, they just make my lashes so <sighs> nice. All right, next thing I like to do, which I forgot to do first, is put on some of my lip balm. This is the Dr. Rogers Restore Healing Balm, and this stuff is freaking amazing. Just put a little bit on my finger. And just rub it in okay and then last i'm gonna fill in my eyebrows because i always have to do that and i'm gonna go in with the benefit goof proof brow pencil which is always and forever will be my favorite eyebrow brand to do my eyebrows with all i do is just like go over them kind of stroke up a bit at the front fill in the tail And that's like one eyebrow and you can just tell that it kind of makes it like fuller than the other one um i can't imagine i don't know how people do the whole like precision eyebrows and get the concealer and make sure it looks nice under like i just in the mornings especially for school like i do not have time for that and that is basically it Sometimes I'll go in with my goof proof like gel thingy but i don't think i need it today all right and then that is my like 
super casual makeup look. Right now, I need to read my book, East of Eden, for pre-P English 2. Comment down below if you guys are sophomores and are taking that class because it's actually kind of challenging this year. And yeah, East of Eden is kind of a weird book, not even gonna lie. Um, Let's say hi to my dog really quick because he's really cute. I'm not sure whether or not my um, haul video is going to go up before this one or after but if it isn't up yet I will give you guys like a sneak peek of the shoes I'm gonna be wearing today and if it is then oh well you'll just see it bought some new shoes off of Adidas they're the super cute like gray cloud foam ones um, and I thought that they would go with like everything and every outfit so with this outfit oh there's me um, they would go like on my feet so see y'all whenever we leave holy cow you guys so i was editing right and i was trying to find some like old clips from my old computer to go into the video that paige and i are filming so i was looking at my photo booth trying to see like the clips that she and i used to make whenever we were in like fifth grade and i deleted those but i came across so many pictures i wanted to show you guys some of them it's so weird seeing like old memories and stuff let me go to photo booth and also like my messages too there's so many okay let me see look at this <laughs> Um, this was like, I forget where this was. This was probably like a cheer game, but there's me, Maddie, Alana, and Fia. And then this was in creative writing. Ella and I, whenever we took it last year. This was hey eighth grade. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. It is so weird looking at these. What the heck? Just thought I should share that with you because I don't know. Okay, so that was kind of unsuccessful. I didn't really find what I was looking for on my old laptop, but it's okay. I need to put away some of these clothes. I've been editing like nonstop and I don't know. Sometimes it's just really hard to stay focused. It's very tiring sometimes. This will be our first time trying it. We've never had it before. Tell you a story and makes you want to dance. Steve Fox examines an overnight phenomenon. Rapping to the beat. Literally, this place is so cute. Um, I wish this was closer to my house. I took some pictures for Instagram, got them. Um, I'll insert a couple here. But yeah. Did you get the white on the outside? Huh? Did you get the white on the outside? No, I don't need it. I never did. That was so cute. Do you want to get my hair liner? We are at Trader Joe's now, and I just picked out some organic black beans to make with like cilantro lime rice. Kind of getting inspired by Chipotle's. So, let's shop. Hey, this looks so fun. It's like pumpkin pasta and sauce. I say let's go for it. Okay, guys. Now we are home, and I'm going to do a little Trader Joe's haul for you guys of some of, like, the fall, excuse me, pumpkin stuff that I got. I'm going to make dinner, too. Um... Spooky season themed, really excited about that. Trader Joe's had some really good stuff. So, let me see if I can try to pull out the stuff. I bought some salad, cause I'm gonna start eating better. Try to, attempt to. Where does this go? One of the items that I got are these pumpkin waffles. Um, from Trader Joe's. They look so good. And I'm pretty sure I've had these before, like a couple months ago. They just have these like year round. Then I got this for a snack. It is, uh, it's these pumpkin cereal bars. These look pretty cool, pretty good. Um, and then tonight for dinner, I'm gonna be making this fall zook something pasta. Annual harvest creamy pasta sauce.
All right, so it's finished. It smells really good. Um, it doesn't look very clean right now because I kind of just like let it fall into the bowl. But um, let's do a taste test. Uh huh. Hello. I need to update the vlog. Okay, so it is 9:04 p.m. now, and we just got back from watching one of our old neighbors perform. Um, she's so good at singing. Shout out to Danica. Love you. So right now, I already had dinner because I made that pasta stuff, but I'm still really hungry, so my dad just made me some tuna. I'm gonna put it on some Indian naan bread. I think that's how you say it. This stuff is so good. So what I did was I got a wet paper towel, like squeezed all the water out, and then put it on top of the naan bread. And then you just take it off and now it's like super damp and really soft. And then you just put the tuna on top of it. Also, these are Asian bowls. So comment down below if you're Asian because we love that. Okay. Oh. Touchdown.